Welcome back to the 2015 Call of Duty World Championships. You're joining myself, Rel and Duffman here on the Delta stream. And wow, what a game we have on our hands here between the Australians, Mind Freak, and the Spanish Gamers 2. Uh, it's yeah, absolutely intense. We're tied up in the series. We're heading to map number three. It's going to be Biolab, Capture the Flag. I, 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 favor, I favor Mind Freak in this, to be honest with you. But uh, obviously, this is a loser's bracket match. Let's have a look at our brackets, actually. We've got a pretty little graphic to show you guys, and we'll take you through the upper bracket and the lower bracket to see where we're at. All right, so we can see here Optic Gamer and Denial Esports. Denial came out on top there. Uh, a bit of a surprise, I would say, as well. So Absolutely managed to sweep them aside. Uh, Team Caliber against Below Zero. I think a few people would have expected Caliber to win that one. Really? However, it was so close. I mean, apart from the capture of the flag, which was 7 0 to mm -hmm. Team Caliber. Every single game was so, so close. Um, aware gaming against Envios, again, I would say surprise. Big surprise. Uh, UK. 3 1. Oh, this is it. I mean, UK and potentially Europe's last top if gamers to do fall here. Yeah. Finding their way through, taking down Envios. Uh, Optic Nation falling to automatic wow, reload. That's another surprise to me. This Optic is crazy. Optic five rings. Optic Nation has five championship rings on that team. That's insane. I mean, all four uh, players have a ring. We, we would have probably predicted Optic Nation to take that. I mean, oh, talk yeah. us through the bottom half of this stuff, man. Bottom half of this bracket into the lower bracket uh, actually is where you see uh, Optic Nation is going to be facing up against Team Envious. This is the loser's bracket, by the way. Yeah. Mind Freak <laughs> is what you see right now. Gamers 2 up top. Optic Gaming will be facing below zero. We got knocked out by TK. Of course, Phase Black and Team Orbit. Uh, so all those matches are going on right now on the Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and this stream, as well as Echo, I believe. Uh, yeah. No, actually, no Echo, just Delta uh, as well. So stay tuned all, at MLG.tv slash COD to have a look at all the matches that are going on today. Of course, a lot of upsets so far. You have Team Envious, who's placed second at the last two Call of Duty World Championships down in the loser's bracket right now. Any team can fight, it's them. You've also got Optic Nation. Every single player on that team has a championship ring from one of these events. And then Optic Gaming, the other big absolute upset as well over yep. Denial. Obviously a very tough match. Either one of them goes to the loser's bracket and you're still like, oh my gosh, these are the best teams in the world. Both of them highly predicted to win it. One of them had to go. Unfortunately for Optic Gaming, it was the guys over uh, on the green wall. We are heading into the match, though, in this loser's bracket matchup between Mind Freak and Gamers 2, the Australians versus the Spaniards. Let me get your prediction on this map. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of edging towards the Australians here. Don't get me wrong, that was a really convincing search and destroy game mm -hmm. that we saw from Gamers 2. 6-3 was the overall scoreline. Yeah. But I just think in terms of slain ability, when you look at fighter and shots combining and performing as we know they can, when it comes to games like Capture the Flag, that's really where they're going to shine. Speaking of Capture the Flag, have a look at your map, Biolab. A lot of dynamic map elements into this, of course. You do have the canisters you can see on your screen over there, the bioacid canisters. Both teams have their home base flag. A building does drop right outside of that blue base uh, where uh, you do see the Sentinel building drop down at the minute and 30 mark. A lot of, a uh, lot of, you know, strategy, I would say, obviously, yeah. as to where to pull flags here. So many different routes can be pulled at any time through the middle, through Biolab, outside purple, through the outskirts of green. There's so much to do in this map. Uh, really all depends on the kind of map control your team is able to exercise. Fida, though, is going to go ahead and take your first blood as he picks up methods. And his second inside Biolab, as we see an early control here, oh. out of Fida. Alone, the one-man team here getting three. Yep, and still alive, just holding Biolab, getting some great map control for his team here. And he's just going to be a nuisance in here now for Gamers 2. It's going to keep denying him the opportunity to push in. We're seeing him rack up kill after kill oh after kill. Oh, my gosh. JK7 Fighter. and Legend 4. Fighter now turning around, trying to find this player. Will they get the gunfight? No, he will not. That'll be Tojo, who does win that. It's going to be Buzzo and Shocks up for the team over here on Mind Freak, trying to stay up and defend their base here as they do anticipate a big push from Gamers 2. There's a big pick mid-map. Legend will answer back. Fida will pick up where he left off. Six and one start for Fida. Buzzo hasn't even found him. Can we go to Buzzo real quick? What are you doing? Oh, Buzzo's in the base. So <laughs> Buzzo's got his iron boots on, Rel. He's going to be that player that's posting up in this base, trying to defend, getting cutoffs when he has to, but he's not going to be moving too much. Yep. I mean, uh, comes to flag, of course, you've got to be aggressive. You've got to make the pulls, but you need to defend your home flag too. And that's going to be Buzzo's role during this uh, capture the flag game. I want to see what's going on with gamers too, though. I want to show them some love methods who have stood out so, so much, not only in the hard point that they were defeated on, but also in that crushing mm -hmm. search and destroy game is, again, going off here three to one. Methods go. on your screen. 
Three and one, three point streak. Make it four. To the line of that tunnel turns around. Has two there. Gets pitched. Denzel actually be the one to clean him up. Meanwhile, they do have control of that base. So we'll be pulling that flag out. That's going to be Denz with your flag. He gets caught from behind by Legend, who does get the two piece on Denz and shocks. Dojo comes in and cleans up Fighter. Now on with Buzzo, switching to Methods. Let's see what he's able to do here as he does get the flag out. Uses up the rest of his overclock after that pickup. And now with the cutoff, might have a clean run. There is one player in the base, though, that does get that flag. And that's going to be Fighter. Yep, and uh, Methods, a uh, great run from him. to Tahor's managed to pick up the flag and carry it forward. Finds us going for the counter cap there. Oh, and Tahor emptying so many bullets into the enemy, but unable to pick up the kill. Just trying to stay alive up top green. Tosho here. Does have one. Drops. That's going to be a return. Flag still held by Fida. He does have one player chasing him, though, and he does turn around. He picks up Legend. Fida goes down, though, to the hands of JK7, and the flag is returned just to the hands of Buzzo, waiting in the base of Gamers 2 to pick it up. Tojo picks up the flag for the counter pull. Three down. Tojo has a legitimate chance here. With that pickup, this should be a cap. Gamers 2 will be the first to respond to the board. 1 0. Gamers 2. Yep, there was absolutely no one that could prevent that cap. That's a whole man. to run it home. The Europeans fighting hard. Great series. Now. Yes, very, very, very close between these two teams. And it is the Spaniards coming out on top as we go into the, uh, the second half of the first half. Tojo still on your screen now. Him and Legend both on the streaks here. Legend four now. Tojo floating mid map here in Biolab. Does have a player that is waiting patiently inside, but he will elect to move on. Did not see that player. Canisys will blow up right in his face. And now, slow movement as he tries to sneak his way into the base. Go on. Spotted! Uh, yeah, I mean, who was that that took him out there? Just coming up on the kill feed. It was Buzz and he's just been sat up top there. That's his job. Said, you know, just a lot of teams are doing that now too, Rel. We, we saw that uh, uh, in Denial. You typically see that as well as uh, we saw it with Strictly Business. Um, just posting up. TK does it as well too. You'll see Theory in the back a little bit um, from time to time if he's not running flags. They'll rotate off and just keep a player in the back when you're on this spawn side uh, just to hold it down because there's so many approaches to this flag. Yeah, and here we go. We've shot Tie it up. Manages to tie things up, and that is going to be one apiece now, still in this first half of Capsule Flying Biolab. For the newcomers to this stream, bear in mind this is a best of five series, and currently the overall scoreline is tied 1-1 after a hard point win for Mind Freak and a search and destroy win for Gamers 2. Shocks on your screen right now. He's just kind of rotating back over here to the enemy's flag, looking to help slay out the base to allow for a flag pull. And fortunately for him, Denz is just in there grabbing flags. He picks up three dents. Now on a six point streak, got the flag out. He's looking for another capture here. There's big gunfights needing to be won there by his teammates though in their base. Looks as though they it. will and he's got it. That's gonna be two one in favor of Mind Freak. Yeah, I was just looking at that mini-map there, seeing if there was anyone that could cut him off, but there was not so great plays by Denz. I mean, he's picked up a six kill streak, and he managed to get that flag capture for his team, working really, really hard to keep Mind Freak in the Call of Duty World Championship. Denz on your screen, still on that streak right now. He's gonna play back and defend a little bit, help Buzzo out in this role. And that's what we talked about, Buzzo's just gonna hang out. Now they're playing a little bit defensively, obviously, as time expires here in the first half. But what looked like Gamers 2 kind of controlling the pace of the game for the first three minutes, I would say. Mindfreak really did a great job coming back into this and really taking map control, winning their gunfights, specifically Denz and Fighter were really notable players in that first half for Mindfreak. Well, Mindfreak are 2-1 two and two, one up. They are winning this series, but they're not making it easy on themselves. Very, very close still. If we actually just look at the kills and deaths of each individual player, every single Mind Freak player is positive, bar one who is breaking neutral. So in terms of slaying, definitely going towards Mind Freak there. We will watch Mind Freak. Just kidding. We're going to watch <laughs> the Spaniards here. Gamers 2, Tojo on your screen. First into purple. Challenge from Biolab, his teammate goes in there and pays the price. Tojo cannot clean that up. That's actually gonna be Shocks in there causing problems. Oh, misses the punch, Shocks cleans him up. Shocks starts with a two-piece. And uh, he will continue to absolutely shred Legend on your screen now from Gamers 2. He's now pushing up here, outside Snow, looking for a pick. All right. He's gonna see if he can find anything. Here he goes now, Legend trying to sweep round the back. And uh, he is very, very close to that flag now, but does get shut down as we just see the Mind Freak player sweep down and pick up the kills. Here we are with Denz getting shut down on the flag point. Tojo does manage to get the flag out. He's going to pull it. Snow. He actually turns around to challenge his gunfight. Can he win the gunfight? No, he will not fight. Actually ends up coming in from the top legend now. 
down from mid by the flag is returned back to the base of Mind Freak. Great defensive series there for them here in the first 60 seconds of game. But three go down, Rao leaving Buzzo up last alive to defend the flag. Here comes Methods and Tojo. Methods goes down. Tojo with the flag goes down as well to the hands of Shocks. Great defensive stop by Shocks, allowing Fighter to get there and help out. Oh, yeah, it's just great watching both Fighter and Shocks here. I mean, they keep complimenting their play styles, but they're so, so aggressive. They really just get in the faces of the enemy and just manage to pull out all the stops to pick up these kills. I'm going to watch Shocks a little bit more. I want to see what he does around this sweep. Dead. <laughs> now much. on board with JK from Gamers. We'll switch to Dens back on to Mind Freak. 16 and 3 for him right now. He will challenge from Snow up alley. He will get taken out. Methods. Coming in now to sweep around with that flag. We'll get caught with it. Fida gets two. Fida goes down to the hands of Tojor. Tojor picks up the flag and is trying to get away with it. He has the help of Methods with him as they try to make their way to the flag. Here comes the cutoffs. He should have it, and there it is. Tied up. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Tied up, 2-2. Two -two. Here between Gamers 2 and Mind Freak. Yeah, it wasn't really in any danger at all. Uh, great supporting work by his teammates to actually allow him to get a pretty clear flag route, actually. Uh, two minutes 52 left on the clock, so still plenty of time for some more catches here. Things tied up unsurprisingly between these two teams as they go head to head in a very close series. Legend on your screen, 19 and 16. He's on a two streak right now. Let's see what he can do as he does decide to push up here. Flag's going to be pulled yet again by Fida. They're almost to the portal, and they do. Mind Freak able to get it to the base. That's going to be another cap, and that's going to be a one-point lead with two minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Fida cleaning up against Legend as well. And look at that. Each individual Mind Freak player doing work, taking it in turns to shut down the Spanish. And we are seeing them advance, and they want to extend this lead. Who's this going for the big sweep around? It is Methods for Spain. Methods. Sneakily pushing in here. He is going to spot a player, decides not to go up top, catches him off guard. Great movement right there to take out Buzzo. Turns and gets stunned, but not going to stop him as he takes out Fida. Decides to run it through Snow, not into Biolab, up through Purple. He does have one player that is waiting patiently for him. Does find him. That's going to be Shocks with a massive save. That could be the game changer right there and could have prevented or, or, or could have been the, the game tying cap oh, forced overtime. Absolutely. I mean, this is a one flag game. Taho does have the flag pulled as well. He's trying to get things tied up as uh -oh. time is Counter running pull. away. Counter pull does go down. We see this oh so often on BioLive capture the flag. Fighter's got it for Mind Freak. We have him highlighted on your map. We'll switch to Fighter real quick and see what he's up to. Does have a player that is chasing from behind. He's going to watch, turn around. Does not have a lot of security here, but has a teammate nearby just in case he does go down. On top green, they do have full security, but both teams across the map, if you take a look, trying to find that one player to go in and get the kill on the flag carrier. Right now, Fida just needs to stay alive, and he's got 66 seconds to do it. Shox is making moves, gets one, almost gets two, unable to connect, though, with the final bullets there. He's going to get shut down, and the flag carrier still stays alive, but it doesn't matter all that much. It is still looking great for Mind Freak. Both players still in hold, control of the flag. JK7 does get to the flag carrier, though, and he does get the return. That's going to be the game-tying cap. 3-3, 45 seconds to go. It's go time for both Mind Freak and Gamers 2. Oh, the pressure is on, and it's actually Methods who's making the pull here, running away with this flag. He has been shut down, leaving Legend all on his own. Still time for one last pull if either team wants to go for it. Legend on your screen. Plus three right now. Time's going to expire. I think we're going to an overtime here, Ralph and what an overtime it's going to be. This is a loser's bracket match. Whoever loses this best of five goes home. Well, hold on just a second here. Two Methods. flags have been pulled. 12 seconds left. Don't really think there's time. Still potential. We'll stay with Methods. He goes down. There's the return. Down. He could get there. Hold on a Five second. seconds left. Dent is going. He's oh. got to from behind. No, he's got the player that kills him. That's going to be Legend. Legend comes up big from Gamers 2 to save that cap in the final moments. We're going to overtime. Wow. I am I, so many emotions right now. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> that flag, that was going in. Dens, I, I'm pretty sure he would have made that with the available time mm. left. So, to have a Gamers 2 player it was, I think he said it was Legend that picked up that kill Legend on him. saved the day. That was clutch. That was he would have gotten it. He would have yeah. gotten the cap. And, Guaranteed. Uh, you know, it's plays like that. They, you know, when we when we refer to important kills and, uh, and less important kills, it's one like those that can, can make the whole difference as to who takes the game away. Fastest cap wins here in overtime. There'll be two halves of five minutes. First one to cap, though, has the second team only get that amount of time to cap before it. We'll see if uh, Mind Freak can go ahead and pull away with a 2-1 victory lead in the series, or if it will be Gamers 2 from Spain. 
Shocks oh. on your screen, though, has been lighting up. Four-point streak to start things out here. He'll allow his teammate to take the flag. He goes down, so Shocks will pick it up and run it through Biolab. He does have a pretty clean run to this to his base. His teammates have got to get some cutoffs, though, as he does take it inside eight building. Free run. There's the flat pull though, out of Methods. They gotta oh, pick him methods. up. Shots fired on Methods. Shocks still alive. They've gotta get the return. Shocks is there, waiting for the flag to return to its base. There's and this. as soon as it does, will it though? It will not. Oh my goodness. He's still alive. Finally, he had to wait forever though. Oh, that was really, really tense towards time. the end there. 52 seconds. This is tough. It's a very, very quick flag capture there. Uh, great play from Mind Freak. And you could just see time and time again individual Spanish players, individual players from the Gamers 2 lineup making those sneaky pushes, just trying to get the return. Almost paid off for them, but time is now against them. They have 53 seconds to cap this flag. 42 remain here. Time is of the essence. Legend goes down. JK goes down. We saw Tojo go down early. Methods goes down as well. An impressive stop. They really have to stop really just one more major push if you're on Mind Freak, and they can secure it. Dens gets the flag out regardless, though. Applying the pressure for Mind Freak. If they cap it before the time expires, the game is over as well. And Dens is well on his way. He does have the cutoff. He has a player chasing this legend coming in from behind. They do get the return. 15 seconds left. Methods does have your flag. Three are down for oh. Mind Freak. Methods is going He's away. Running. He does have a free lane to the flag, He's and he gets it. it before time expires. And they are going absolutely crazy. Gamers 2 standing up and taunting Mind Freak. They do take map number three uplink on Biolab to go up 2-1 in the series over Mind Freak, and what a way to do it, Ralph. Oh, wow, out of absolutely nowhere there. Gamers 2 just managed to get the ball. I did not see that coming. They, they just grabbed wow. it. They ran away with it, and I think both of us were thinking to ourselves, they're going to get shut down here. They're not going to be able to make this all the way, but Methods, massive play from him to run that home. Couldn't be closer on that capture the flight game. We thought Mind Freak had it after that quick cap. They had less than a minute to capture that flag, all four went down in the very beginning 30 seconds, and in the final 25 seconds, they clutch up when they need to most. This series is getting interesting. CTF is complete. We've got Uplink coming up after this here in the loser's bracket of the Call of Duty World Championship presented by Xbox.